So when did they approach you with the narcissist gimmick? Was that something that they'd already talked about doing before the accident or was this something they came up with? I'm not sure the timeline. Um, I think as after the, after the bodybuilding show they had, we started talking about as I was recovering from the injury, from a motorcycle wreck, uh, about what we wanted to do. And uh, I'm not sure, it wasn't my idea, but somebody in creative uh, came up with it and they really uh, decided that would be something really, really good with the mirrors and, the, and my, with my physique. And, and uh, so I was, that sounds good to me. So uh, we, we, uh, we went with it. I, Definitely was my idea. And your first feud was with Kurt Hennig? My first WrestleMania match was with Kurt, yeah. Yeah. My WrestleMania debut, which was shortly after my debut. So what a, what a, what a guy to have a debut match with. It's funny, the match, uh, Kurt, I talked about the match where I, I was all relaxed thinking WrestleMania debut with Mr. Perfect Kurt Hennig, one of the best wrestlers in the business. I got a night off. And so we went over the match a little bit, but I didn't think, I was a little careless. Didn't think much about what we talked about. We got in the ring and I didn't know, I knew Kurt was, was had a reputation of being a ribber, yeah. like, like pull pranks. But we got in the ring, we locked up. He goes, what are we doing, what are we doing? I thought he was joking around. But he apologized afterwards, but Kurt told me, I don't know whether he was still ribbing me or not, but he said he completely blanked out. So we ended up having like an okay match, but I was trying to remember what we talked about in the back and I was calling the match. But normally the heel calls the match, he was right. the heel. So it was kind of like, well, Luger couldn't even have a great WrestleMania debut as a worker, you know. I was never the best worker anyways, but it was more my look. And uh, more aesthetics and not as much substance to, to, my, to what I was. And so it was a wow, Luger didn't have a very good match for his WrestleMania debut. But uh, behind the scenes, I was like, oh my gosh. I, w I was in like a state of panic in the ring. I go, what do you mean? What do we do? And it was, it was a, I look back now as a funny moment. Yeah. I didn't think it was funny at the time. I, w I was a nervous wreck, but I had to call the match. I see. And I hadn't really memorized a lot of stuff and what we were doing in there. Hmm. And Bruce Pritchard told the story that I guess when Kurt would wrestle you on house shows, he would rip some of your tassels off. Oh yeah. Well, well, that was Kurt. That was him. He did rip my tassels off, or or do a sunset flip, and not go. And I. I and uh, he did pull my trunks down in Madison Square Garden. He was always doing oh, stuff. Yeah. But that was just Kurt. I'd, I had never problem with that stuff at all. Yeah. Julie, the costume girl, just put the tassels back on. That was, that was, that was, that wasn't like a. Kurt and I got along fine, so that wasn't a. That was Kurt. That we'd all laugh. We'd laugh about it after the match. Was it special to you to wrestle in Madison Square Garden? Oh, man, that's hallowed ground. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.